Make sure we time it, guys. We'll have our first team into the decider in a couple of hours' time. They're both Stop. worthy of filling the first slot. Penrith and Melbourne, which one? We'll find out in 80 brutal minutes. A long kickoff. It's taken by Dylan Edwards, and back comes Moses Leo to this forward clash. Particularly in the Please, early exchanges. Uh, will be earth shattering. Our Fisher Harris. Oh, he got monstered by Eli Katoa. Just outside the tent. And Yo, no thought of ball playing there. Runs into a three man tackle and Nelson at the forefront of it. Luai playing on and now Scott Sorensen. One of the many internationals doing battle for both sides this evening. Dylan Edwards, he should surpass 5,000 running metres in the season at some stage tonight. The leading runner again in the comp this year. Cleary's first long clearing kick lands with Nick Meany. And he's tackled by Martin and helped by Leota. Karima Smith this time, both he and, and Justin Ollum. They might not have been confident of being here tonight, but they've been recalled and they bring great finals experience. Now Nelson, he ran towards Martin. He won't shirk it, Liam Martin. Never has, never will. To Sebe on the right-hand edge, a couple out from the halfway. That was Luai involved in the tackle. This is huge trying to sneak through. Yeah, that was the first tackle by Jerome Luai. He was up for the task on that one on Marion Sebe. Had a good platform. Which must have been kicked and it's taken by Top Off. But that's a very good chase by Trent Nero. Well, when they got it, Luai, Luai stood his ground, but it was a real legs tackle. He's got a quick play the ball. I'm sure, that's a target. They get it, Luai, one on one. Here it is here, bottom of the screen. It gets down low. But it's a fast play the ball. If they get at him and double up down the short side, could be drama for Tennis. Harris out a little wider, running towards Jerome Hughes. Melbourne actually have led Penrith in both of the previous games they've contested so far in 2023. There's the first penalty. There's, there's Fisher Harris. Second with a little tap on the backside for Matty and Seve. And they're on top, the Melbourne Storm, winning the field position battle. Penalty, the first one of the, the evening goes to the Penrith Panthers. This is where Nathan Cleary goes to work. Holding on a little bit too long there, Marion Seve. Just pick up on that point I was making there too. Marvel Stadium, round 18. It was 14 0 Melbourne. It was 34 16 to Penrith in the end. And they scored the first try also in the clash that they contested in round 22. But the uh, round 23, rather, but the Panthers won 26 to 6. So they haven't even been close. The two matches between the clubs this year. Here's Sorensen over the halfway. And up near the 30 metre line. And now James Fisher Harris. Nelson, let go! Nelson at the bottom of that. And Bronson Garlic starting dummy half again tonight with Grant from the bench. Playing on to Leona. A strong charge. A good tackle around the legs by Liero. They've won back the field position battle here. Pedro through the hands. Top oh, in the corner. He's a final specialist. Top oh, he gets his 10th try in 11 finals games and Penrith strike after less than four minutes. It's identical play from a fortnight ago when they scored against the Warriors. Nathan Cleary will get across field and he will use his centre as a decoy going to the right. Harvey Norman replay will go to the line. Isaac Tungall runs the decoy which creates the two on one on the outside. And Brian Toe goes over. It was a great setup play by the middle forwards. There was, there was a tip on play by his uh, Tolstra fan camp. Would set that up. Yo jabbed away, then the knockout punch by Nathan Cleary. Well, a lot, a lot of teams play one big play down this end of the field. The Panthers, they play five. They just keep coming at you, play after play. And it was Moses Leota that stuck his nose through the line, played the ball quick. And then the Panthers, they just got off the back of it. Here it is here. Nice play by Isaiah Yo. And Moses Leota, he gets down, plays the ball quick. You see the Melbourne defence still trying to get in position. Nathan Cleary plays in the contact zone. Creates the space for Brian Toho and he finishes most movements. 
gets down nice and low. And the Panthers strike first off the back of a penalty. It's just to know them is really tight defensively spacing Billy next to Munster. Well, they didn't have they didn't have time to get into the position. The, the play the ball was so fast. Moses Leota, he hit space outside Isaiah Yo. The two forwards created the opportunity, and this man he finished it off. A withering start. Penrith's first. A good ball possession. And they nail the opportunity. And Cleary from touch. It's coming back. It just hits the posts. Wait, mate. Dewey, time it. Time it. He's had another fine season, Brighton top, or he's eight and two in finals matches as well. He relishes this time of year as Leota comes rumbling back. Let's go sideline. Brad Fittler, good evening. Good evening, Matt. The conditions are absolutely brilliant. The gods have been kind. We've had a week of 30 degrees in Sydney and then your last night it starts raining Nelson but today Wade. it's just Wade. absolutely Wade. beautiful look at the field you can see the lack of action on the field it looks like it's been cut to scissors the best condition I've ever seen is ground in all set up for a wonderful game thanks Brad yes looks magnificent surface Andrew you, you, you particularly make note of the, the slippery nature of this ground occasionally it looks like there's no nothing by way of dew out there tonight. well since the women's world cup it's really short freddie will tell us more but i think they've, they've changed the grass or mixed the grass up out there well they're looking to get the grass down to about 22 mil by grand final so that's as low as it gets here and that'll be just flat as a carpet it'll be perfect conditions the lack of action on the field you can just see how much it helps is Meany slipping away from acting half. Garlic played the same role last week. Grant from the bench again. Penrith have really got it, Harry Grant. In two previous meetings this year. So, and when I say they've got at him, they've really uh, they've ticked over his tackle count and taken the zip out of his running game. Munster. The top off. Penalty, another one, crusher tackle. Well, I don't know what Justin Owen could do in this situation. But let his neck through. Just wait, it's mate. It's really tight defensively, and they drive Brian To'o back. And unfortunately, To'o gets caught up. If you have a look, dude, I really don't know what he can do in that situation. Brad Fitler. Here it is. I've noticed they're kicking over to the Penrith right hand side to Brian To'o as to stop his second and third tackle run. Normally, most teams. We'll kick the young Taruva. You see that as a player they can get down and put some pressure on. But Munster's done all they're kicking so far. And all down that left hand side. Cleary playing for Martin. Interesting change too uh, by Ivan Cleary with his centres. Tungle's actually playing right side tonight. Been accustomed to him working with uh, Lua on the left hand edge, but. Presumably, they're try trying to no split up those two players who have been out with injury. Go, go. Yo, into the line. Here's Tungor. Last one. Straight Straight 12 foot short of the Melbourne Storm line. Cleary can attack with a kick. He's kicking for Crichton. But it was a good leap there by Matty and Seve. And uh, the kick was a fraction deep. Yeah, you can see Nathan Cleary's target, the athletic Stephen Crichton. He just couldn't time his run there, Stephen Crichton, but yeah, Crichton on Hughes. That won't be the last time we see that. Good Kenny on Ellie Cartoa. Five wins in their last six games at this ground for Melbourne, so they do play it well here. Souths earlier in the season here as well. Master for Solomon are playing on now for King. Hey! Oh, 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 oh. Find the ground 
time with the tackle, so he's able to play quickly. Pierce with another run. Good tackle from the inside by Sorensen. He chased over hard. He goes to Meany. Pressure on Edwards now. Ball comes back to Melbourne with a fresh set of six. Katoa is tackled by Crichton, eight metres out. Nelson. Nelson. Oh, Fisher Harris, he saw him coming and didn't let him generate any momentum with the run. Here's Garlic. With the duck dive. Gets him within a metre. And the defence is so hard to crack. There's Melbourne shift out left. They've been cut off out there, so Meany comes back to the middle. Five short once again. Garlic, Hughes, Katoa. The Panther wall at its best here. A couple of plays left to cover. Kamitha tries to sit out of the defence. Put down under the posts. Munster, out to Meany, and out of Justin Olam. He stands them up and scores. He goes straight through. Coming in the six. It was a one on one miss, and it's a try to Melbourne. I was about to say, the Panthers move so well defensively, all as one unit, they sprint to the threat. On the Melbourne Storm, they decide to run the ball on the last tackle, get the ball to Cameron Munster. He goes to Meany, and then it's just a one-on-one -on -one miss. Olam and Tungle, Harvey Norman replay, and Melbourne strike back. Now, Meany catches the ball on the inside of the lead runner here, Trent Liero. Didn't obstruct anyone on the Harvey Norman replay. We'll see it here. Now, Tungor, he was out for a while with that tech injury. Justin Olin got a one on one. You reckon he loves it? Yeah. I think PNG, all the PNG will be on their feet. What a player. Pretty? Well, Isaac Tungor is normally the left centre. And Stephen Crichton plays with Brian Toto. But obviously, they've tried to change that around to protect Jerome Luo, who's on the left hand side. And he pushes him straight in the part of the body where he's injured, right on that peck, the right peck. I don't know if Justin knew which part of his body was injured, but he hit it absolutely perfect. And he's just sent a signal to the Melbourne Storm that Jerome Luai is not the only target in the black jersey. Well, you don't see that very often. Isaac Tungwall making a clean miss like that. Do you think that's just a bit of rust he hasn't been playing? Well... Do you think of the, the injuries in the back of his mind? Maybe? Like Freddie said, you know, it's his right side, his right shoulder. He's missed a lot of football this year. He had two separate stints out before this most weeks. It might have seven and eight weeks. Nick Meany, second leading point scorer in the comp. Another one off the post. back to his block-busting best for Melbourne's first try and we're back level at four each. Sidney. Confronted by Fisher Harris and Sorensen. A couple of Kiwi test stars. And now King. Now Big Nelson. Playing his 20th final tonight. Six more tackles on play four. That's handy. A lot of energy tonight, Melbourne. They were a bit stuttering, to say the least, against the Roosters. And you'd say the same against Brisbane week one of the finals. But there's a fluency about their work with the ball tonight as they get up to Penrith's 20. And Garlic swings left. Equal to the task on that occasion. Oh, the Panthers touch the ball, actually. Garlic drifting. 
first down. Running to a dead end. Yes, he is. He's kicking the wall brick. We know how brilliant he is in the air. I think it's off uh, Melbourne only. No Panther hand. There's numbers for the storm. If they get it out there, they score. He dropped the ball just at all. One's oh, gone oh. absolutely begging. Yeah, the pass went behind him. There's a pass by Trent Dinero. Just couldn't get out in front. Justin Olam, there's a bit of push and shove now. There's a real chance there, Joey. Well, it's attention to hey, detail. Hey, Nelson! Oh, 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 Nelson's not happy. He'll be running the other way if Nelson's going. It's, it's the attention to detail. That's it! Break it's apart! And in training, when you're doing the basic warm-ups, hey, the hey, ball has to go in front. He's the, the competition ball bring. As twice he's forced an error. This is a great pass, this one here. This one's a ripper. That ball, it just has to hit the mark. And you're training, going through drills, warming up. This is where the attention to detail, every pass has to hit the sponsor, right in front of the sponsor. Oh, playing. In these big games, you've got to take those half chances. You no, know, it can cost you big time. Liam's one who starts that. There's no need for it. We're going to play the ball. Over there, play the ball. Yeah, there's a bit of feeling in this. Obviously, uh, a grand final hey, spot up for grabs. Keep a cool head. Both of these teams know yeah, how to get it done though. at this time of the year. Come on, go. Lift him up, run him. Give room and score. Come on, charges straight towards us and Solomona and Trent Liero. Let's go to Brad. I spoke about the kicking game before, and as you can see, any time they want to kick from far out from the Penrith line, they go to tie. Any time they can compete for the ball, though, they want to give Warbrick a shot at young Taruva. It's worked twice now. They've come up with two opportunities in Melbourne Storm. She got to run by Fisher Harris. This is a Luai then on the ground. Josh King saw him jump on top, squeezed his collarbones together. And that was He's got a target on his head. Oh, yeah. Fair game. Yeah. Cleary, that's a shallow kick, and Smith had to go back to catch that. And he wasn't particularly enthusiastic about making ground Get to it. Wait. Smith tackled that side. Oh, big contact again. Kenny tried to put a shot on. Yeah, just entering the 15th minute mark of this competition of this contest just wondering when Craig Bellamy will opt for his bench and get Harry Grant out there he's on his feet Bill oh, he's back down oh seven lined up ball pass or a knock on one of the two same result wow you can hear the touch judge tipping the referee shot clock on once again a bit of pressure can't really tell on that angle. Big contact there from Fisher Harris. Oh. oh, he has been savage. James Fisher Harris in the first 15 and a bit minutes. We turn the spotlight on that clash between he and Nelson pregame. It's lived up to the billing. Tongue on out. Game against the Storm at Marvel Stadium, if you remember. Earlier in the year, two tries, a try assist and 13 tackle breaks. Six more to Penrith this time. Oh, Nelson took Cleary out late. Easy. Yeah, they're in again. They're in again. Oh, Nelson's on the deck. Look out. Something's brewing here. This is a, a, a tinder box. Well, in years gone by, if a big front row like this, like this hits your halfback in back play, all hell would break loose. Okay, based on what I just said to him, Joey, Nelson's going the bin. I've Whoa, got Nelson's Isaac Tago who Nelson's comes going in. For it. That's, gee, that's a bit clumsy, isn't it? It's just stupid. Yeah. It's one thing to be aggressive. Yep. But that is oh. just... It's just stupid. And when, when you play yep. against the Penrith Panthers, and we've seen it in the opening 16 minutes here tonight, they, they love dropping off. They love dropping players underneath. Okay. So it's just a push, eh? Yeah. Time off. No, it's only a push. 
is what they're saying. Does that warrant 10 in the bin? No, not in a big game. If you hit him with the shoulder, it's yeah, a fair game, up. 10 in the yes. bin, but not for a push. Yes. Nelson! So if it's just a push, have you seen him push off the ball all the time? Yeah, but it's a Nelson right. push. He is the biggest man in the world. The line is in the sand, right? Yeah. We just had that down there. Yeah. It's a push, that's why he's staying on the field, but it's clearly late. Yeah. If we get any more, I won't hesitate. Yeah, yeah. That's I think it. He can count himself very yeah. lucky, Nelson. He stays on the field. Oh, listen to the Penrith fans. I they want they you had him as the a senior captain to talk to them. Yeah. Right, clearly well, I think the referees the had him in the bin also the until the they sand. saw it was a push. We, we keep getting push and shove. Blokes go. Well, he's coming from the, the field. Clear. Harry Grant's entering the field of play now. Break. Yep. Come on. Was two. that the plan? Do you know, Bill? Get him off after 17 minutes? Yeah, I think that was the original plan to get Harry on. Penrith to take the shot at four off. A bit of experience back from the coaching box. Nelson about to boil over, so Craig Bellamy's just taking him off to cool down before things get out of hand. Six four Penrith, yes, Brad. Well, the crowd surely enjoyed that walk from Nelson. He walked straight in front of all the Penrith crowd, and every single one of them gobbed off at him. <laughs> he would have heard some interesting language. Yes, some words he's potentially never heard before, Brad. Yeah, we make it up out there at Penrith. So Harry's on the park, and I mentioned the Panthers were able to blunt his attack in the two clashes this Stay year. Stay no Played 80 minutes in both games. 59 and 55 tackles respectively. No line breaks, no tackle breaks. So with maybe a little bit of the sting out of the early exchanges, Jim Grant provide that spark we've become so used to him offering. Just what a start. Yo past the 20. And it was jolted. Big shot. It's happened by his uh, New Zealand teammate Jerome Hughes and Patoa there also. Clearing, clearing it out. One bounce and picked up by Remus Smith. There's Fisher Harris again. He's on a seek and destroy mission tonight. Warbrick. Could he feature in a grand final in his maiden NRL season? 17 tries. Seven. Oh, pushes a pass. Great desperation by Penrith to tap it back in their own direction. Yeah, that comes from the pressure of the Penrith Panthers on their kick chase. And then their next couple of plays, that line speed was tremendous. Now they go on the attack. And it's just relentless pressure. They wait for opposition to crack and sever. Maybe just buckled fractionally with that offload. It gives Penrith more attacking football here after 20 minutes. One try each. A high quality preliminary final. Fisher Harris again straight at Grant. This is one of the great opening stints from the Kiwi Test prop. Back for Yo. Wrapped up around the boot laces. Right in front of the post. Playing out now to be clear. And they've got them stripped again here. Tangor and a top or try. Same spot as the first one. We spoke about Fisher Harris. Plays a really good role here. Nathan Cleary comes to the left, plays inside to Isaiah Yo. And then he doubles back. Watch the pass from Fisher Harris. Here's 
the highlights of Fisher Harris on the Harvey Norman replay. He's just charging and belting blokes in defence. Watch this pass here, catch and pass. Frees up Nathan Cleary, then it's a three on one on the outside. Once again, the spacing from Justin Ollum. Too tight for Cameron Munster. Really tight defensively. He gets down nice and low here, Brian Toto. It looks like he's going to go into touch, but then gets down nice and low. The rushing defenders slide over the top. Telstra fan cam. The Panthers supporters love it. But again, an error from the Melbourne Storm coming out of trouble. And the Panthers pounce. Freddie. Once again, the play before the try was Isaiah Yo on an inside pass from Nathan Cleary. They'd spotted Tui Kamakamitha not in the line, and that's where they got the quick play of the ball and end up getting the advantage on the right hand side of the field. Both of their tries have come from not only the play being the great play and getting the opportunity, but the setup play to create the quick play of the ball. Yeah, one guy we haven't been speaking about all that much in the opening 20 minutes of this contest is, is Nathan Cleary. He's had a hand in both tries. He plays a pivotal role. So his first kick bounced back off the sticks. Could he make the required correction? Same spot. And he's drilled this one. Errors like few teams can the Penrith side. And another it's little blemish is converted into a converted try. 12-4. Here's Martin. What a run. He's got four tries in each of his last four games, Liam Martin. Fisher Harris continues to just bash away. Look at this. 12 of 12 completed sets. Sorensen now. When you think about the performance of, of Fisher, Harris and Leader in last year's grand final against the Parramatta Eels. They've certainly turned it up a notch or two here tonight. They know how to get it done at the right end of the year, the big boys. Luai Ariel, Taruba chasing. You need to be good to skin Warbrick in the air, though. What they give Melbourne the ball back 10 metres out from their own line. A seven! Oh, who else? Have a guess who nailed him. And there's Luai trying to make a statement by racing out and taking Warwick's legs away. Welsh on the park now. Second consecutive game he's come from the bench, the Melbourne captain. Come and Oh, they've got nowhere really. Comparatively to what Penrith were able to achieve following that try. The kick from Hughes just outside the 30 and Sunia Taruva. Come sprinting back. The minor premiership for the third time in four seasons earlier in the month. It was over the halfway. And yo. Weaving with that uh, customary footwork. Put down outside the 30. Miss Sorensen keeps it alive. Someone's lost to Bernard Sorensen, and uh, one of the Melbourne players threw it 20 metres behind him, so he's got to go back and get it. Cleary with the chip kick. Martin trying to get through. They provide sufficient buffer there for Nick Meaney, and here's a penalty. Well, this will help the Storm. Because once they got him down this end, Penrith just fly out of the line, led by Fisher Harris. As you said, Matt, one of the great opening stanzas in a big game we've seen for a while from Fisher Harris. There he is there, the Kiwi Warrior. 
can get much tougher yep. than him. What a leader. Playing behind him, you feel safe all the time. 12 tests for his country, same number as Nelson, actually. Captain's on stage, James Fisher Harris. He's king. 12 4. Penrith with the advantage on the scoreboard. They are so hard to run down with the lead. To hang in, can Harry do something? And spark some sort of revival with the ball. There's Munster. And here's Hughes. Katoa. Taken by Sorensen. Helped by Pitch Kenny. One handed scoop of Ron Grand. Pitch towards the post. Oh, might have gone dead there if they decided to let it go. Tarnall gets it back. And that was a Melbourne player that hit the ground. It was Tarek Sims. Isaac Tunnel did a great job to get back in the field of play. Here's Cleary. It's running from dummy half. He was calling the referee uh, to blow an offside penalty, and he gets one anyway. Well, that's not with the hand on Nathan ball. Nathan Cleary's job description, but he sees the quick play of the ball, gets into dummy half, gets out of there. Here's the kick from Harry Grant. Great work from Tunnel. These sort of efforts, these are the things that win you big games. Must have tried to pitch that. And then Nathan Cleary just gets a penalty. Freddie? Yeah, you could mark that down. The 26th minute, Ivan Isaac Tungwell getting out of the end goal area. He may have made the error earlier, but he's made up for it. Here's Lindsay Smith. They break out here. Recommitted with the club. And uh, I notice his partner have announced they're expecting their first child as well. He's had a big week, Lindsay Smith. He'd love to cap it off with a preliminary final victory. Penrith poised again. And Yo started to come into his own in the last few minutes of the game. Cleary, blue eye, short to Sorensen. Good tackle, Sebet. Katoa's been busy in defence also. Kenny and Cleary around the back. It's a drive into Rima. They are busting them everywhere now. Well, when he smells blood, Nathan Cleary, he goes for the jugular. He was in everything in that set. He created the penalty to get him out of their own end. And then comes down this end of the field, doubles up on his plays, gets over with Jerome Luai, Harvey Norman replay. And he finds Taruva in the corner. But Nathan Cleary, what a set by the Penrith halfback. In absolutely everything. And then gets Taruva a try on the other side. He's created all three. There's just no wasted tackles for Penrith. They're at you every tackle. Other teams have settlers or set up plays to certain areas of the field. They just fall into, into different areas of the field and they just automatically fall into shape. Putting questions to the opposition all the time. And this time, Luai plays out the back to Nathan Cleary, who's predominantly a right field player. Comes over to the left side and then just holds the ball up. Perfect for Taruva. But they are just at you every tackle. You cannot rest, physically or mentally, defending the Panthers. Well, that's the importance of Jerome Luai. Just that combination. They didn't even have to, to communicate. They knew where each other were. They combined well. They grew up playing together. Cleary and Luai. Down to you, Freddie. The thing they do brilliant is they don't waste their bullets. When they go to an edge, they go to an edge when they know they've got the advantage. They had the quick play of the balls. They'd set their set up. They went inside earlier to Sorensen. When they knew they had him on the back foot, that's when they went to the edge. And all the wingers are scoring tries tonight. Yes, five tries in his last three games. Sunya Toruva. Might not even have been playing first grade this year if not for the injury. To Taylor May, right at the start of the year. Cleary. Drills it. Thank you. 
on a roll. 18-4. Oh, Smith jolted by Sims in a great shot. Give room, Terry! Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Young Bull runs into old ball. Fish Harris is still out there. He's played to straight. Sorensen. They just can't stop the roll. Storm. Sprinting upfield and refusing to yield in the tackle. Kenny, away for Yo now. Well, they're 16 from 16, the Penrith Panthers. In the back end of this set, they'll be 17 from 17. And, and you watch the energy of their defensive line, their line speed. Just continually applying the pressure. Relentless. Ball hits the ground between winger and fullback. It's the former in Rima Smith. Running back, tackled shy of the 20. Now Ollum. Fisher Harris first out of the line. Incredible defensive record. It's, it's well documented. Best defense in the comp four seasons in a row and against top eight opposition, they can see less than nine points per game on average. It's barely believable. Master Valiero. Melbourne up over the halfway. Grant for Hughes. Didn't look comfortable, but still got the job done. And now Stephen Crichton. Four tries in his last five games against Melbourne. Fisher Harris heads to the bench for uh, for a break after an incredible opening stick. 17 tackles, nearly 90 running metres, and they've all got plenty of venom behind them. Boy. Oh, to rebound racing. It was a good clash, a good competitive a fight for the ball there. Taruva came reeling away, but Warbrick under pressure. Oh, gee, another pass. Threatened to hit the ground. Oh. Isaac! Wait. They're giving Justin Olm a rough time. Oh. Here's the contest. Wow. Warbrick. He landed Warbrick then. Oh, bang! Spencer scored! Spencer. Land you! A rib rattler! Melbourne shift in an effort to make some ground and Warbrick pours into a gap. Warbrick to the halfway, Edwards waiting for him. He could run over the top of him, but that's good stuff. Penrith scrambling to get back. Melbourne with a stack of numbers out left. They go through the hands. It's with Mertz, another bad pass. It didn't go forward. It, came, it did go forward. No, it didn't. Really? Three. Oh, dear, oh, dear. dear. That's days. the second time. Where there's a dead set try on and the ball, Play the ball hasn't hit the mark. Great ball movement here. Look at this pass. You get him on the edge, Warbrick. Look at the acceleration, the power. He gets through. And then the big shift to their left side. Mooney, they got a four on one. Liero pulls his hands away. He's passing to his back row and Trent Liero. He pulls his hands away. I don't know what he was thinking. Gee, they have no two drops. You get a score those. Yeah. There's half chances. You've got to nail them in these big games. And there's 12 points. And both those opportunities came from unstructured situations. The first of them a kick that rebounded back off Warbrick, and the second of them from a line break. Well, Stephen Crichton has hardly seen the ball, really. Cleary and Edwards and Tungor is trying to send Tungor down the wing once again, but he's accounted for by Munster in cover in combination with Olin. Here's a cross kick. Crichton with the target once again. 
Taps it back. It's off a of Melbourne hand, is it? No, it's a Penrith hand. No contact from the Storm, so Cleary's going to get back. Oh, it's a six more call, very late in the piece. Well, they called it late in the piece. Massively late in the piece. In fact, I think the ball was hitting Cleary's boot when he was signalling. Referee Adam G clearly got a tip from the bunker or some external source. He didn't get there in time. Grand now. Here's a run. Harry up the middle. Oh, he's getting oh. back there. Clear. This is amazing. He is everywhere. Well, he knew he couldn't get Harry Grant, so he thought, I'm just going to get in the passing lane between Harry and Cameron Munster. That's a, that's a footballer thinking about his football. I'm square. Great effort getting back there by Nathan Cleary, and that sticks the left mid out. Oh, how about and a penalty? Can you push him? Yeah. This is oh. a dangerous time for the Melbourne Storm. 18 4 down on the scoreboard. I didn't see the touch. There's only five minutes to go in this half, and the Panthers get a set start inside their own territory. What an effort by Cleary. He was coming forward defensively and then sprinting to the threat. We often talk about that, seeing the threat and sprinting there. Saved a certain try. But has had the presence of mind not to go to the ball. Harry, right? yeah. He didn't go to Harry, he went to the passing lane. Six more! Well, Melbourne could be encouraged that Grant's been able to cause some disruption in the Penrith defence there with one of his sprints from dummy half. Here's Luai dancing. Back for Lindsay Smith now. Get up, Trisha! Oh, this is massive. Four minutes until half time. Penrith hunting on the 10 metre line. Cleary back on the inside. Lenu wrapped up by Sims. Assistance from Welsh down below. Kenny, go. Luai. Left foot step. Right foot step. No support. Nearly got through them all there. We'll tackle right up the post. They go out to Cleary. Ball's on the ground. He'll get back there and pick that up. He's cleaning everything up, Nathan Cleary. Going there with a mop and a bucket tonight, he's been so good. Another one hits the ground. They're so dangerous in these situations. It's ad lip stuff, but they've gone backwards and lost the territory. Here comes the cavalry. Pressure. Smith with a clutch take, and there's going to be a penalty. Not contesting, he just takes through. Well, it was Isaac Tunnel going. He was going for the ball, and then the no last contest. minute. He just Makes turned his shoulder. You see he's got eyes for the football and then turns his shoulder late. It's been courageous the storm. And they've created two absolute moral tries they've bombed. Yeah. Considering the completion rates for the Panthers, who have been nearly perfect. Tonight, well, they have been. 22 for 22 sets. Telstra is the proud naming rights partner of the NRL Telstra Premiership for 20 plus years. This is footy country. Well, it was crucial they denied the Panthers there, and they did. Still a handy buffer. Would have been almost impossible to overcome had Penrith one in another try. Olive, that's a good ball. Smith trying to weave a path down the wing, but Tungor drags him to ground. 15 inside Penrith territory. A couple of minutes until the break. Munster's had nothing to work with so far tonight. Hughes has looked dangerous. He's up against Sorensen. Half through a gap. Tackled by Luai on the 40 metre line. Munster. Tungor's dropped it. First one goes forward. Oh, here's a chance for the Melbourne Storm. Contest the referee Adam goes G forward. Called the first I thought one. he hit them. Off Penrith. Shot clock on. Billy, I'm watching the Storm. The, the ball a couple of times has gone to the left Olam side. It made a dent. And then the long shift back, there's just been no organisation. Does that come off the arrow first? No. Yeah, that comes down to the key men. That comes down to Hughes, Grant, Munster. Organising their troops. You see Munster behind the scrum here. He might flip to the right hand side. Oh, 
Green around the back of Katoa. Seve. He's made a miss a couple of times, Seve. Dylan Steve. Final minute of the first half. And a golden chance for Melbourne to drag this back to a manageable gap at the break. Patoa. Have you three plays? Grant waits. Here's across. Munster joining in. Meany. Another one misses the mark. If that had a bounce to Brian Toto, he might have no, no. scored Leo. there. Instead, the ball's Leo. hopped over the touchline. No. no. Yeah, they can't get no. that last pass right in the Melbourne Storm. Created an opportunity. Hughes went deep into the line. Attracted defenders, so did Munster. And then Nathan Cleary releases his outside men. That's that movement on the defensive line. Liam Martin getting in a bit of niggle. That's not like Liam. He threw out the bait there. Yeah, just can't find that last pass the Melbourne Storm. But a bit to work with, as you said, Joey. They've created opportunities. <laughs> Looking at the stats, they've done well just to keep it. The Panthers to 18. So a 14 point gap in favour of the Premiers at half time. A spot in the grand final at stake here, 18 4. So three tries to one, two of the Penrith tries to Brian Toto. That takes him to 20 for the season. Only two Penrith players have scored more tries than that in a single season. Reese Wesser in the Premiership Tony year, Ryan! 2003, scored 25. Amos Roberts the year after, 23. It's having a fine final series once again, Brighton Toto. So 40 minutes remain for one of these teams. And it's so hard to run down. It's record something like the last 65 times they've led at half time. They've been beaten once. It's just incredible. This Sims, 13th season in the NRL, and this is as far into a campaign as he's been. His first prelim. He's hoping to recommit with Melbourne for, for next season. And now Meany, who got baited to a bit of a push and shove with Liam Martin just before the break. It's a pretty cool custom of Nick Meany. But Liam Martin can get under his skin. A high kick from Hughes, Warbrick, here's a tap down, Munster's there. They surround him and he's uh, he's able to pop it out the back, but Lenu's got it for Penrith. Oh, it's a rumour. He stepped before King would put a proper whack on. Right this time. His last year as a Panther. Belmore bound for 2024. And Edwards. <laughs> runs, most running metres. Leads in so many of those running categories. Most kick return metres this year. Most support runs in the comp. Dylan Edwards. An endless supply of energy, it would seem. Clearing. Picked up by Smith. around the leagues. And Lenu and Yo. He's uh, Welsh. Good run. Lucy Smith got left behind there and he's feeling for a shoulder. Yeah, burner. He's up there to help make that tackle, although he tackled himself slipping over. Hughes passed at the arrow. Oh dear. Tries to push a pass and the ball comes for the Panthers now. That's what happens when you start to think about chasing points, I suppose. It's all or nothing tonight. Top off. Well, if you're going to offload, you've got to be in control of the tackle. He was down on the ground on his back. Not for Sam. Now Luai tries to accelerate into space. Cut off by Hughes and Kartoa. Yo, running away again. To 120 metres for the match. Yo, Kenny with a run. Picked up on the bump. 
Sorensen playing it on the 30. Leary, oh, that came very close to hitting the crossbar, actually. That was a cool by Nick Manny. Oh, Martin! Well, Liam Martin. Oh, grabbed. Martin might go to the bin here. Yeah, Liam it Martin's was, grabbed Nick Manny. It wasn't going to be fast because Marion was in front. Oh, he's very lucky here, Liam Martin. He grabbed. Him a challenge. Yeah, he grabbed Nick Gosh, Meany on his way settle back. Settle down. For the quick 20 metre tap. But the call from the referee okay. was that Marion Sebe oh, was actually in front of the 20, so he wasn't able to take the quick the tap anyway. So why are they challenging because whether the if, foot was said, down for Meany? Oh, they're too good. The ball is caught without a foot in the end goal. Melbourne have possession at this stage, so the challenge is successful from Penrith. We'll be coming out 10 metres that's, and playing the ball at tackle zero. That's a good Nick challenge. Meaning. That's a good challenge. Now, that was Stephen Crichton. Stephen Crichton ran him from the left edge, screaming for Nathan Cleary. Yeah. So, challenge, challenge successful. It's obviously still there. Wow. This will be zero Kids, tackle. Carrots. Okay. Wait, Kids at home. See, so you eat your carrots and yeah. you can see. Listen to Uncle Andrew's advice, kids. A bit different to uh, our friend Lindsay Collins, but he has, he has his carrots. Danica, what can you tell us in the sheds? Uh, the news out of the sheds at halftime. The message from Craig Bellamy to his Storm team was saying that they're killing themselves with errors and penalties, and he wants them to fix up their completions, but take some confidence from the things that they are doing well. The message from Ivan Cleary on the other side of the field was same as the first half, and weather the Storm, he's expecting them to come out firing these first 15 minutes. Great job, Danica. Thank you. 11 of 17 completions from Melbourne. Thanks to a near perfect Plymouth team. That makes it very hard. Here's Grant. Last one. Hold it. Harry, you did that. You grabbed it. Last. Escape the clutches of Smith and Ollum, but they still can't put him down. They did it in the last minute. I don't think I've strong. ever seen Brian Toto make an error. I know I put the mock on him, but I, I can't remember him drop, dropping the ball in contact or when he's running the ball. He's an amazing go forward player. Third in the competition for post contact. Talking to players, current players, ask them who's the hardest to tackle. Every one of them says Toto. Oh, right. All of them. They attack a short side now. Right, picks over the top, wants to land in space. Harry's back there. Well, they get great service from both their wingers. The senior Taruba's had a wonderful year. You know, they have just as many metres this year as Brian Toto. Dendy, Freddie. Well, that was a plan. The moment the ball went left on the last tackle, you saw Nathan Cleary and co. chasing through the middle. That's the beauty of having a left foot kicker as a left centre. Especially one with Stephen Crichton's skill. Good tackle. Smith on Ollum. Good kick. I think this is one of the keys. If you're playing Penrith, we saw late in the year Manly when they were playing Penrith and trying to kick the ball out. Just to play around with their rhythm and also get your petrol tanks for your own forwards from the set start like that. Just give them 20, 30 seconds rest. Just got to get something that will unsettle it. Just pack red zone. Pretty even. Storm 11, play the balls. Just need something just to break their rhythm, Penrith, because if you just start trading set for set with the likes of Taruva and Toto, their outside backs goes Toto. Oh, he's through! Straight through them. Clean break from Toto in the middle of the ground. There's a one on one steal in for here. It's Munster, who's one of the best at it. But oh, you need a forklift to get it off Brian Toto. He's so strong. Perry's going to kick on tackle four. It's a brilliantly weighted kick to the end goal, and Warbrick is snooking. 
Well, he just sums up the situation better than anyone. Nathan Cleary, a beautiful line break by Brian Toto. Here it is here. Just gets nice and low. Oh. And Tarek Sims and Christian Welsh, two origin players. And then has a little tussle, a little somersault with Cameron Munster. And then Nathan Cleary, when he gets the football, he just sums it up, finds the space, threads the needle, and the weight's perfect. Watching Nathan in the warm-up. Time off, stop the He was clock. going over and stop over, kicking those balls into the end goal. Right. With it cut really short, wait, the ball's wait, really wait. rolling on. You can see him playing around with different areas and different kicks. Nice to go stop short. It's gone over the 10. No, it hasn't. Penrith touched it before the 10. Yeah, it didn't quite get the 10. I didn't go on 10. So is that Time off. They batted the ball back. Let's go. Where are they going to get their points from, Billy? Well, the storm. Well, I think the obvious ways are their key position players, Hughes, Munster, and Grant. But um, I think they've got to look outside the box. I think Eli Katoa is a real threat on that right hand side. He's on Jerome Luai. I think if Hughes can combine with Eli Katoa might be a way for some points. The other one is Warbrick. Warbrick on Taruba. Yeah, yeah. They can get some field position. That's what won them the game last week against the Roosters. There's a mismatch with height. Must have beat Josh King. How fat. Got him going backwards. And Master takes it flat and takes on the defence. Cleary stops his progress on the 20. Here goes Christian Welsh. This is better for Melbourne. Welsh with an offload. Eisenhuth on the ground. Munster's touched it three plays in a row. Another one on the deck. Warbrick's got it. Munster perfectly waiting. Luai! Well, that tests the shoulder out, and he's passed it spectacularly. Well, he had a chance to go to Warbrick, but he dropped it short. On the on the tour line, Stephen Crichton. Oh, oh, that was that was Lua. Munster handled four times in four plays on that set. It was a better set. Just the outside backs. They just get the sets rolling. Just Sorensen's been strong, strong again, hasn't he? And another offload, and it comes to Yo. And that, that was a very forceful defensive set by Melbourne up until that run and offload by Sorensen. And Munster's called offside. Eisenhurst hunts out of the line. Oh, what a kick. Cleary. What a brilliant kick under immense pressure. Kicked outside. I watched it half time. I look at the stats. Nathan Cleary at half time, but I don't think he made two tackles. Which means in attack, he's fresh, his decision making is first class. Well, it's always first class. 50 minutes in, he's only made eight tackles. And this is what Penrith do, Joe. They're under pressure defending their try line, and 30 seconds later, they turn the ball over 10 metres out from your own try line. They just continually apply the pressure by marching down the field and, and demanding field position. Yes, Brad. Well, Nelson is so for Solomon has just taken the field and Christian Welsh has come off. Is he taking his calming pills, Brad, or do you think he's got the angry ones out? Oh, no, it's all anger today. He <laughs> took the red ones today. <laughs> the, red, the red pills. Look out. Here's King. <laughs> Munster again, posing the question of Taruva. Half an hour to play. No change to the halftime score. Nelson on the ground for Melbourne. And Fisher Harris is on his feet for Penrith straight away. Here he says, righto, James. It's back on again. Round two. The two forward leaders. Leota on the ground as well now. Leading you with another powerful impact spell. Oh, another bully king charge. Oh, 
pressure. Well taken <laughs> by Remus Smith. Oh, was right in his pocket as the ball arrived. Solomon. And now Tom Isaac, who has made his NRL debut for the Panthers in one single game back in 2012. A remarkable story of perseverance, Tom Isaac. Who's all tapped back here? Penrith have got it though. And Edwards trying to set something up. If he beats the tackle, he could potentially offload, but the reinforcements have come Munster with an important tackle. Well, that just happened, but Isaiah Yo, the amount of ground that he had to cover to get himself in a position to get that bat back. That's why the Panthers are at where they're at, and that's why Isaiah Yo is the captain of this team. Danica, some news from you. Yes, the Storm captain we saw just come off before Christian Walsh has gone off for a head injury assessment. I have spoken to the medical staff, though. It is classified as a Category 3, meaning the trainer pulled him from the field after he was showing some symptoms. So he'll be going through the protocols over the next 15 minutes. OK, thanks, Danica. Luai went one way. Six, and Zaj, and Martin into the clear! Martin with an offload! Clear is there! The Panthers are in for try! Pressure, pressure, and then pounce. And he's keeping foot on the throat better than anyone else in the competition, the Penrith Panthers. There's Jerome Luai, the man with the question marks, coming into the match. Harvey Norman replay. He gets the ball, he's forced to run it. Left foot, left foot, bounces back across the field. Fires the ball to Liam Martin, and then watch this palm bang. Cameron Munster and sits him down, gets the ball to his co-captain, Nathan Cleary. And the Panthers are marching towards the grand final. I go to Brad Fittler on the sideline. You've coached Liam Martin for the last couple of years in State of Origin. Can you hear us down there? I can see Fairly. the crowd's yeah, pretty loud. Tell us about Liam Martin. I mean, the thing about Liam Martin is that he's gotten better. From the first day he took, put a step into State of Origin, he's just gotten better and better and better and improved his game. He catches bombs. He breaks tackles, he comes up with big hits, makes moments, and a real competitive war. So have a look at him. <laughs> that was oh, a photo, yeah. that, that, the Telstra fan camp. Oh, yeah. They were going bananas, weren't they? Liam Martin. Now, he looks fairly small, Liam Martin, but I think he's, he's about 104 kilos. And just watch the acceleration. There's one thing, he's really athletic. But he's zero to ten meters. He can go really quick. Look at that fan. What a fan! And now that's a good defender in Cameron Munster. Well, he finished it off well too. Many get that pass wrong. Cleary, the beneficiary of some dancing by Luai, a powerful line break and fend by Martin. 24 points to four now. Victory by 20 points for Penrith in round 23, 18 points in round 18, and this is another dominant margin. Brad, down to you. Well, I thought that trial was a great example of what fatigue can do. Yeah. Joey was just talking about Nathan Cleary only making two tackles in the first half. On the other hand, you just mentioned Cam Munster made four runs in their last set of six, trying to get Melbourne Storm some points. Comes up against Liam Munn, palm in the chest, fatigue, try to Nathan Cleary. Middle, middle. Oh, right. Spectacular backhander. Edwards on the back up. He's going to sprint away and get another one. They're headed for their fourth grand final on the hop. Yeah, we 
said he was a bit quiet earlier on, Stephen Crichton, but he creates this opportunity for Taruba. They just go down a little short side. Harvey Norman replay. Jerome Luai fires it to his strike centre. Beautiful oh. little flick pass. Just draws Will Warbrick in. And then Taruba finds Dylan Edwards down the middle. The Panthers go back to back. Broncos Warriors, are you watching this performance? I'd imagine they'd be glued to it, Andrew. Yeah. Well, this is... Jerome Luai's performance tonight has blown me away. I was really surprised he was playing as the Telstra fan camp. This is footy country. They're happy, the Penrith supporters. I was surprised he played. With Four weeks ago, we saw how distressed he was walking off the field when the shoulder dislocated. Yeah. But not only has he played, he has been in everything. Setting tries up defensively, he's been strong. I thought he'd I thought he'd that hide him on the wing, but well, he's challenged the line. Been some performance. Used his running game. He's made his tackles. It's it's a brave performance, and mm. well, Bill, you've had shoulder injuries. Yeah, numerous. Are you surprised he's playing? Absolutely. I was surprised he got back on the field this year, and it's a credit to the work that he's done. It's a credit to the medical staff, and he's probably going to need surgery at the end of the year, but. He's fighting his way to a fourth straight grand final. Cleary for 200 points in the season. Over it goes. of effort by the Panthers and there's still 23 minutes to play. Here goes Moses Leota. Now for all the boys adulation around the effort of Blue Eye and Jack Cogger has the interchange card. Curious to see who he replaces. Is it Kenny or does Blue Eye come from the field? Surely it'll be Jerome Blue Eye. He's coming from the field now. He's Blue running. Off. He's holding shoulder. To that left arm is just limp. Run off in front of a, a big bay of Penrith fans and gets a, uh, a much deserved round of applause. Another Swing penalty. The knees. What an Tom effort off. by Jerome Law. Tough, courageous. Nelson, report. Knees. Oh, Nelson. Yeah, they were the red pills he took, all right. And we've got 22 minutes to go in this contest. Yep. Isaiah Yo, he's another guy that's played every minute of this prelim final. He might get a rest shortly as well. Hey! Oh, Leota with a ferocious run. Straight towards Harry Grant. Edwards, now Crichton, straightens off the left. Good tackle and cover. It was made by Jerome Hughes. Cleary, ball in one hand. Regrant the pace. And then Yo, Liero, that comes in to wrap him up. So Penrith just outside Melbourne's 20. Cogger, what a wonderful season he's enjoyed. Signed as a backup to the two star playmakers. And he has done an outstanding job. Whatever role he's been asked to play. Yo now, Nathan Cleary, shows goes, Raptor. We've got a changeover. Well, today I was talking to Sam Burgess about Brisbane's middles, Payne Haas, Flegler, and Carrigan. Tom off, and Nathan. Both talking about, well, they're the best in the game, but whoa, tonight, whoa, whoa. Isaiah Yo. Uh oh, oh Nathan. Now, this was a previous tackle early in the set. Nathan. Mitch. Trainer. Oh. Oh. Tom off. This will be a bin. Yeah, mate. Contact with the head there. 
Yeah. Is it Josh King? OK. Josh! Josh King on report. We've got to play the ball. Maybe. We've got to play the ball. They're talking about the middle forwards, but tonight is Leota, Fisher, Harris and Isaiah Yo. Keep going back to the grand final last year. Uh, opening 20 minutes from two front rowers from Penrith. He was in particular Leota last year, wasn't he? He's opening 20. Incredible. Good hands. Oh, no. Missed the target over the sideline. It looked like it might have, uh, might have reached Remus Smith. There might have been a deflection of a Penrith player here. The referee saying Penrith feed. Yeah, challenge this challenge. one. Okay, Joey. Look, regardless of who gets through, be it what a challenge from Brisbane Melbourne or Warriors, the three. front row battle is going it's to like, be ferocious uh, with Vanilla really Blake. Play the, ball to Panthers. the other one, Melbourne is and Barnett, to he's playing it in the front row for the Warriors these days. Who do you like tomorrow night, Joey? Brisbane, I'll, Warriors? Yeah, I like Brisbane. The ball touches Brian Toho's hand last, then it goes into touch. The challenge by Melbourne is successful. We have a play the ball to Melbourne. I don't think tomorrow night could be one of the classic finals. Fast play open footy. Middle fast play the ball. surface. Both teams love to attack. Both teams really fast. Nelson on the line. Can't wait for this one. Sell out at Suncorp. Front foot. Walker's <laughs> young, but fearless. The Warriors were good last week. That's the Knights. The support, the ground swell of support in New Zealand for the Warriors. It's huge. Crunching shot on the green. Down to Kamitha. Back to the middle of a cool stadium. Here's Big Nelson. Oh, he gets a raspberry from the Penrith fans. He's up to a few tonight. He's aggression. It's up and down in the same spot. It's four bounces and uh, it's got a bow tied around it for Dylan Edwards to collect and run back to within 16 metres of the halfway. Still uh, 19 and a half minutes to play here. Momentum. Penrith could go right on with the job if they if they want to go full throttle. Tungor's made an error. Shot clock on. That's one of the first unforced errors we've seen for the Tennis Panthers. Sorry, just They've completed him. 32 of 33. Hmm. Danica, some news. Wow. Yeah, we just saw on screen there Christian Welsh. He's pacing the sidelines. He has passed his head injury assessment and he'll be back into the action very shortly for these last 18 minutes. Thanks, Danica. Billy, can the Penrith Panthers be beaten? Bring it in. Hurry, hurry. Yes. yes, they can. It'll take an incredible performance because they're not going to beat themselves. But uh, I'm, I'm with you. I like the Broncos tomorrow night. And I think that they've got the game and they've got the talent and the personnel. Olum. Still going. To challenge this Panthers team. So whichever way, it's going to be a cracking grand final. They beat him in round one, if that counts for anything. Well, to beat him, you've got to win the run. You've got to win the middle of the field. And you've got to, you've got to try to control the out of Fisher Harrison. Yo. Picked up by Cogger. Sunya Taruba weaving. Crichton, he lost it, then tapped it back before it made contact with a Melbourne player, so it's play on. Surrender! The he's turned into Stephen Crichton, particularly in the occasion. Oh. Hasn't really been tested tonight, but defensively, I think he's, along with Campbell Brown, one of the best defensive centers in the competition. It's been a remarkable season for him. Was ever supposed to, to feature in the, the first choice New South Wales lineup. You think back to game one, but was called in and debatably New South Wales' most consistent player throughout the series. Clearing out, working with Edwards. He's the best pack red zone. Storm still just in front. Moving up now with the Panthers on the attack. Cleary, 
spin that towards the upright. It bobbles around on the ground. Hughes is there. No chance. He disguises his kick. If we can get nice and close up at Nathan Cleary. He's holding the ball like he's going to kick to the wing or land it on the half. And the last minute, he adjusts his hands and kicks on the outside of his boot. Look, he's, look, he's going to kick and then watch his hands just change and then hits on the outside of his boot. That is uh, that's as Wait, good as it gets. He just looks up. He doesn't even have to look at his hands. Stay on! He's done that much practice. He's just scanning the defence. He lets the defence, especially where the fullback is, decide what kick. Absolutely. Edwards unchallenged. Crashes into the tackle of Munster. Nelson there to assist. Christian Harris back underneath. Christian Hold the line! Wide! Cleary digs ahead. Sorensen's trying to get through. It was shoulder. all a Shoulder to shoulder. Yeah, shoulder to shoulder. Shot You're clock, entitled clock, to do that. You don't have to let him through. And uh, the ball goes over the back, so it'll be another goal line dropout. Yeah, half back on his game. And just sees Nick Meany in the defensive line. No fullback at home, just threads the needle. Perfectly placed. And continually He's applies no pressure. Even the way he disguised that kick. You didn't think there was a kick coming. It looked past, past the way he was holding the ball. And they go short again. It's a scrap for the ball. It's come down from Melbourne. Would you be tempted to take Nathan Cleary off? Yes. I'd be hitting Cleary off. Isaiah Yo. Spencer Lee knew you could play half back, couldn't he? Seven. Just recover so quickly, don't they? Not a bad shot for numbers, but Brighton. Spin it across, Sorensen there to assist as well. So, Melbourne just a long try to speak of. They did bomb a couple. Picked up by Tom. Oh, another error. Oh, there's some heavy legs for the Storm now. They are right there for the taking. Edwards tries to rush around the tackle of Katoa, who clings on well. Setting up for something short side, perhaps. Not the run by Fisher Harris. Nelson, no more. There's that clash again. Nelson and Fisher Harris. Nino, that was high. He ducked under it. A loose arm by Nelson. The referee let it go. Fifteen out. Ah, oh, he wasn't square. Six more tackles. Possible to hold out here. Fisher Harris picks up and runs from dummy half himself. Well, if Leota's going to play half back, Fisher Harris can play dummy ball half. They've lost him. Well, we're talking about the ball plan has lost. They've Shot clock on. One try, and Justin Owen scored early. Scruff, scruff, scruff. It was really early in the game. Scruff. There he is there, the big tearaway Papua New Guinea. Bombed a couple of chances in that first half. The storm they haven't looked like scoring in the second half. Haven't looked. There was Owen in the 11th minute. Shot clock off. Christian, easy, James. They must be so fit. Oh, Brad Fittler's got involved in the wave. The Mexican wave. The sideline eyes not supposed to do it. You'll throw your microphone in the air. I lost me pen. Give me pen go. Just keep the hell of that mic. Well, the Penrith fans, I reckon there was a Mexican wave a couple of weeks back out at Penrith, went for five minutes. And no one threw the rubbish in the air. Another desperate pass. Why do they call it Mexican? Okay. Some pretty. Well, that'll be make it up. We are thinking at the Mexican Olympics that started. Right. 68. Oh, yeah. 
68, yep. Yeah. Yes, Green. It's not Olympic, so. Challenge, challenge. Johnny, Nathan touched it. Nathan touched it. Challenge this one. The ball bounces. Joey. Hits. Uh, Challenge from Melbourne. Jack Cogger. On field ruling is changeover. I was seeing if Nathan yeah, actually touches it. Nathan plays and Nathan clear it. Easy how you talk, mate. I know, sorry, but I thought you'd come to the line and it wasn't late. The players on the left hand side of the kicker are clear, all except for two in Kamakamika. Comes off Olam. The ball strikes just a mile. We're still playing on here. There's no touch from Nathan. There's no touch from Penrith at this stage. No, this will be a Penrith play the ball. Tom Eisenhuth takes possession of the ball. The set of six is now complete. The challenge by Melbourne is unsuccessful. Play the ball here. Hey. After the an epic NRL W Telstra wait, Premiership wait. regular season, we're into the finals now, and the top four teams remain. Two great games this weekend, and a blockbuster amongst them. The Roosters and uh, the Titans. This Sunday, September 24, Allianz Stadium. Get your seats now. NRL.com slash tickets. Four teams left. Throughout the season as well, you could say some stars in action this weekend. You can see it all here online as well. Yo! Through a hole, no one there to support. How about that by Yo? A brilliant run. Nathan Cleary through the head to hat trick for top or spectacular. What a try! Just watch Nathan Cleary. Isaiah, the first half, Isaiah Yo jabbed away. And then on the back of it, Nathan Cleary, the knockout. But just to watch he gets off his left foot is Isaiah Yo. A lot of running tonight, not as much passing as we've seen. Harvey Norman replay, he gets through. But then Nathan Cleary, watch him skip off his left foot, which creates the overlap. Watch Nathan get the ball, he'll skip to the outside defender, create the overlap, then catch and pass. Great skill. They all know where to be. Ball in front, hits the mark. It's an incredible team. Well, this is going to be four consecutive grand finals in a row for the Penrith Panthers. They won back-to-back -back premierships, losing quality players. Viliami Kikau, Abby Corusau through the off-season. Taylor May goes down with a knee injury. This is some sort of club. Ivan Cleary's done a great job with this group of players. They play for their community and they know their football. Watch Nathan here, the way he skips to the outside, attracts the outside defenders and just creates that overlap. Well, they all know their job. And Tungle, he does a great job, just catch pass in the one motion. Doesn't even look, knows where Brian Toto is. Everyone's in position. They know what their footy looks like and they stick with it. A hat trick in a preliminary final for Brian Toto. And they have been every bit as dominant as the scoreboard suggests. Cleary from just inside touch. Another great kick. So the last team to appear in four straight grand finals in the best of Rome. It was Melbourne 06 to 09. And before that, Brad Fittler, it was the Parramatta team, the great Parramatta teams of the early 80s. And they're the last team to win three straight premierships. So if the Panthers can do it uh, Sunday week, it's a 40-year record. Did you see that run off the kickoff, Spencer Lunia? 
Oh, it hurt watching. Freddie? Oh, oh. Gentlemen, I need to confess, I got confused. It was not... It was 19... Yeah? Yeah, real confused. Mike. Did you throw your microphone? Oh, We've sorry, got I you. thought it's I lost working. the mic. It was 1986 at the World Cup soccer. Oh. The Mexican wave. Uh, sorry six, about that. 68 and 86. You just got the numbers around the wrong way. He's been on Google. That is not nice. Lenu. Spencer Lenu. Wow. That's not fair throwing him back on with 10 minutes left. He doesn't like being tackled. If you can get a replay up, next break of play, Spencer Lindy's run off the kickoff. Just watch the bottom of the screen. Watch this. And how you would tackle this. Oh. Oh. The trifle lies again, perhaps. Slot. Play on. Eight minutes to play. This has been an authority, clinical, classy effort. That great duel, which really did commence with that 2020 grand final victory by Melbourne, has been the impetus for Penrith to go through and become the team they are. They are final specialists now. Tom Eisenhuth, nice offload. Back to Harry Grant. And Garlick for Hughes. Great kick. Oh, kick ahead by Katara. He's running to traffic and Taruba's going to get back there. Can we challenge the marker? Can we challenge that, please? Can we challenge that? Oh, they've got no challenges left. At marker, Cogger. And he gets, but from the dummy half here, it's a high shot. It's a lazy one. From dummy half, there was an obstruction which which got Cogger in the background, uh, the, the backfield. From the play the ball here from Taruva. Let's play on. So Luke Garner gets a taste of the action with six and a half minutes to go. Started in the centres for the final week one, a couple of weeks back. Brian Tottenham will get four. Edwards linking with Cleary. They send small points here. Yo for Garner. 15 from Melbourne's line. They're still playing. They're still searching. Another penalty. Player held off the ball. Charge. And the shoulder charge. Thomas. He's played every minute, Isaiah Yo. Get out of it. Isaiah. Steve. Go. Oh, oh. Yeah. Shoulder charge there from Marion Seva. Seva. Danica, pretty strong, certainly a boisterous crowd here tonight. Very strong, very boisterous. Uh, in fact, there's 35,578 in attendance here tonight. Majority of them, as you'd expect, Penrith Panthers fans, and majority of them will be hoping that they'll be coming back here to watch their team in the grand final next week. And pretty remarkable to think 35,000 competing in the Mexican wave too. Yes. It was a sight to see. Well, great to see Brad Fittler joining in too. He's always up for a party, Freddie. One thing we know about him. So Cleary, just to seal the deal.
the bigger the stage the better this team seems to go. It's four all at one stage. Tomorrow night, Brisbane will be rocking as the Broncos head into battle against the Warriors at Suncorp. It's the fairy tale preliminary final, and you can catch it live and free from 7 o'clock right here on Nine's Wide World of Sports. The Broncos have been just blistering right throughout the season, and they come up against this Warriors team that has captured everyone's imagination. What a showdown. Well, Brisbane's already buzzing. See it training, the Broncos training this week. There's a few thousand people and fans hanging off the rafters. It's coming, nice. Suncorp Stadium tomorrow night. That's the place to be. Time out! Yeah, you get the feeling this could be a classic tomorrow night. Fast surface, both teams love to attack. Time out! Completely by Melbourne. Ah. Then it scored first with Top Oil, and then Olam went past Tung Oil, and you thought, well, four all here, and this could be a really tightly Coming fought preliminary final. Penrith have just left them, left them in the dust. They do, mate. Okay, Grant. is going to challenge this. Tuckle two, mate. Panthers challenge him, the decision of a knock on in the ruck. Billy the Storm moving forward. What are you thinking? Well, to start with, I the don't tackle think is complete at this point. I don't think we can underappreciate. The Melbourne player then puts his hand back into the ruck. This causes the ball to come out. The challenge by Penrith is successful. I don't think we can underappreciate the fact that the Melbourne Storm has made another preliminary final. It's a great achievement, but I just think that they've, they've been really inconsistent throughout the year. Uh, 13 errors tonight. That, that's more than double than what their opposition have made. So there's certain parts of their game that they aren't getting consistently right. They've certainly got the key position players to push for a premiership, but collectively they're, they're just not not playing consistent, consistently well together as a team. Yeah, you talk about connections on the field. I, I just don't see enough connection between the ball players and the back rowers, especially tonight. Really let him down that combination. This is their eighth preliminary final in five seasons. Oh, it's an amazing club. Absolutely amazing. It's a fine game again, I say, yo. Know, what a leader. Fisher Harris. What a run! Oh, the ball was there for Garner. It went forward. Wow. Have ball a look at this. The game's yeah, won. Long. I'm sure they're half thinking grand final Shot next clock, week. Go, go. And Fisher Harris, with three minutes to go, says, Give me the ball, and just goes whoosh. Look at that. What a player. His first stint was just. It had to be seen to be believed. Amazing I'm machine. John Ellie. Oh, absolute Shot machine. Break. Well, Warbrick's been a really a shining light for Melbourne's season. Might be looking towards test representation in the Pacific Championships at the end of the year. Meany slicing through down the left-hand side. The Panthers come over and cover. Brad Fittler. Yeah, just on that run by Fisher Harris, Harry Grant, who come on 15 minutes into the game, has made 40 tackles. He's had a real target on him tonight, especially with the big front rowers. They've had plenty of runs straight at him. Wait! Certainly blunted his effectiveness, which has been at the target for the Panthers whenever they've met this year. It's a record win for Penrith over Melbourne as well. 34 points the margin. So if it stays at this scoreline, 
Not only have they won this, but they've won it in record fashion between the clubs. Incredible. Last one, no more! Harry Grant. Away to Jerome Hughes. Ball to Munster. Oh, falls over. Fires it along the ground. And Remus Smith uh, has lost the ball. Uh, the Melbourne still not tackling tackle each other at the moment. And he trips over one of his teammates' legs. Cameron Munster. Say there, 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 there. Might even have been his own leg. Well, let's take a moment to appreciate this really Herculean achievement. Four straight grand final appearances by the Panthers. It was thought in the salary cap era that winning back-to-back -back Premier Six was, was a stretch. To win three in a row would go close to achieving what many believe is the impossible, but they get that chance Sunday week. Top off, three tries tonight. And he'll be in no hurry to play it. One more. Kenny picks it up. He's tackled. And that is an awesome foursome for Penrith. They are through. And a chance to make it a three-peak in 2023. <laughs> it's a pretty low-key reaction. They know the real business is Sunday week. What a team. They just keep on keeping on. Not one hint of complacency right throughout this season. And they'll be here on the night of dreams at this very stadium in nine days' time. Cleary, just a spectacular again. So the Panthers through to the grand final. Melbourne season comes to an end. 30. Eight points to four.